Welcome uh, back to the shop. We are uh, making some Christmas presents today. Long overdue Christmas presents. I uh, promised Morton uh, LP0 Fox India, which is uh, one of the hosts on the European Ham Radio Show, that I would make him some uh, USB power delivery to uh, power pole adapter. And I figured I would uh, do it with uh, one that shows uh, the voltage uh, as well. Um, and uh, also, he's uh, since gotten a new radio, which is a, uh, let's see if I can remember, this is a G106. Uh, small, very, very nice Saigu radio. And I figured I'd make a uh, power delivery cable specifically for that as well. So, I will uh, be making two power delivery cables today. One going from uh, uh, USB-C to power poles, and one going from USB-C to 5.5X 2.5, I think it's called. A barrel connector which should fit in the back of the G106. This is an enclosure for the uh, voltmeter and the power poles and it's a bit of a fiddly build so if you do decide to try this you can download the STLs for the two parts. Uh, I will leave a, uh, a link for that and uh, but do uh, I would recommend you follow the exact procedure as I do because uh, I tried to build this in a different order earlier and uh, didn't turn out well. So I guess you've been warned. Let's get building. We'll start with the uh, power pole thing first. We'll move uh, the things that aren't needed for that one out of the way. And we'll start by connecting the, uh, the power poles. People keep telling me that they should be shrinked. I'm uh, sure they're right, but uh, I don't like shrinking uh, power pole connectors, probably because I don't have the right tool. So I will solder mine instead. It's worked uh, well so far. I think the argument against it is that uh, there's a bigger chance of actually, are we getting this on camera? Yeah, a bigger chance of actually breaking off the cable when it's soldered than when it's uh, uh, crimped. And uh, that's fair enough, I guess. Um, but uh, seeing as it's fastened all the way into this uh, power pole connector, there's not really a lot of movement at the place where it's soldered. So I think we're going to be all right. Let's start by tinning these two ends. Yeah, it was maybe a little bit too much tin, but well. Let's see, let's see. Get any on the other side? No. So let's get some air as well. Yeah, like so. And then there's always the fun of uh, trying to figure out which way everything goes with the power poles. And uh, let's see if it's going this way. And this way, I always use an existing one that I know is uh, wired correctly as a template. And you can look inside and you can see that uh, when the red is on this side, then this and this should be pointing up like so. And same with this. This is probably not making too much sense. But anyway, use a, uh, an existing power pole that you know is wide the right way around as a template and uh, you probably won't get it wrong. At least I, I normally don't get it wrong. But there's more. We want the voltmeter as well. So we want the wires from this voltmeter to be soldered into these two. So we need to cut this at, at uh, I would guess the correct distance would be about five centimeters. That's about two inches if you live on the left side of the Atlantic. Let's see, let's get this split. And uh, let's get these on tinned as well. So, ideally, now I would just love for these to be able to slide into here before we start 
the rest of this. Let's see if we can manage. Probably easier if you're not holding the the iron while you do it. You go in there and yeah, it's, uh, it's not going to work there, I think. Let's, uh, let's fasten this one first. And it fell out. Promptly fell out. Nice. So you can trick it back in. And I think we can. Yeah, well, I don't know if it looks good, but at least it's uh, it's in there. I'll try and solder this one on before I put the power pole, power pole um, connector on. See if that is any easier. No, that's not easier at all. And I'm burning my fingers now. Damn it. Oi, come on. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Let's see. Let's see if we can force this on. Yeah, I uh, will uh, reserve judgment till I see how this turns out. But uh, let's see. That should be sufficient. Sufficient and. Uh, Turn this around and wait for the solder to solidify. Here we go. Yeah. I've seen worse. That's uh, not proud to admit it, but I have seen worse. So let's go for the next part. That's uh, attaching these. And. Uh, Again, it's been my experience that uh, a little bit of help from a screwdriver is a good thing. Let's see if we get them in the right way. Like, come on, be nice. Like so, ah, it worked. Next one. Let's see. Does that look correct? Yes. No, we'll just push it into place. Try our best. And there we go. Yes. And uh, just to verify now that these are connected in a sensible way, and they seem to be, we'll attach them together using more force. Like so. So, next step, we need to, are we seeing this? Yeah, we need to insert the display. And look at that, it looks quite nice. And uh, we'll have to look in here, let's see there's a, there's a notch on one side and that's for the black wire or the black connector. That's supposed to slide in that end and straighten the cable and see if we can manage to get it through the opening and uh, I believe this time we can once again some pliers may help to get this through Let's see like so and of course you Carefully move it into position. And there's going to be a little bit of extra of uh, this wire, so just try and fold that into some place where it's not going to be in the way, like so, for example. Now, let's close this up. The uh, 
power delivery trigger board on there. Shouldn't be too difficult. Let's see. There we go and uh, try not to split these up too much. Just enough to to get some solder on the uh, the wires. Oh, come on. Be nice. See what we can manage. That one. And uh, that one. Like so. And uh, we can push them back together because they are going on here and there's a little small plus and a minus sign on the back here. So we'll just try to get that right. That's the minus. Straighten it up a little bit and then do the I think that uh, should be all right. So, last step, heat shrink. And I think that looks uh, pretty all right. Remember to stay hydrated. And we'll see what works. Let's see. Plug it in here. Ooh, still warm. 12.4 volts. Is that showing up? Let's see. Let's zoom in. 12.4 volts at power poles. So, final test. Is it possible to plug these in? And it is. Lovely. All right, that's uh, there's one down, one to go. So with any luck, the next one should be a lot simpler, but uh, we'll see. We'll start this time by attaching the cable to, to the uh, Power delivery trigger board. It's the, it's the simpler of the two connections. Here we go. So cut a little bit off both of them. We thin the board and make sure we get the black towards the minus sign and the red towards the plus sign. Should be the bulk of it. Try not to bend your fingers. We will heat shrink this on. So right, I think. So while that cools down, we can do the other side. And uh, first thing to do is to remember to put, or at least try to put this on. And that worked uh, surprisingly well. Uh, so I'm assuming that is uh, negative on the outside and positive on the inside. I'm guessing uh, Morton will have to verify that before he uh, starts using it. Same procedure, we'll uh, try and uh, what I'll do in here is I will cut the negative wire shorter 
so to minimize the area where they overlap in there because these cables are really much too thick for that connector but the, the good thing about that is you get less uh, loss in the cable that's uh, why I use this uh, rather fat cable yes something like that and, uh, let's see if we can oh. See if we can cut off some excess solder. That should be all right. So next up, we will solder. We'll align this up and solder the inside of the connector, which is the well. Basically, it's the outside of the connector, but the inside wire here. Let's see if this sticks. And it does, and I'm whoo, burning my fingers. Ooh, yeah. But other than that, it seems to be quite nice. We'll tin this before we proceed. It's going to be easier to to attach the uh, positive wire. I hope. That's a little bit too long. So we'll just cut off a little bit of it. Much better. And uh, here we go. Let's see if we can solder that one as well. And once again, burning my fingers. Ooh, this is warm. Ooh, wow. And uh, let's have a look. Let's see. There. Uh, I hope that's in focus. Looks quite all right, if you ask me. Yep. So we will fold this around the black wire as best as we can. And uh, if we're lucky, we will be able to get this on and screw it on. And we are. We are. Look at that. That was quick. So, let's test it. Turn you on. Here we go. Here we go in there. And uh, let's measure. You can see. Can you see that? No clear. Yeah. Good. 12.3 volts. Pretty happy with that. So it's working. So then this is the cable for the G106. And uh, the point of that cable is that you don't have to lug around this in addition to a cable going from this to the uh, 106. So if you if you want a really simple kit to uh, tag uh, to, to bring along for uh, Portable work. This is the only power cable you need for the, the 106 kit and a power bank, of course. So, I think that was it. So, until next time, 7 3.